Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Tactics Ogre Reborn walkthrough. Uh, making our way through Chapter 3, Neutral. And now we've got Mount Wambry up next. Do you want to check the talk topics though? Let's just see. Yeah, Gagstani army annihilated. Uh, resistance forces have once again captured Koratanai Keep. High Commander Zabos was slain in the battle. The Gagstani stragglers who had continued fighting the resistance are now no more. Peace has returned to Koritanaya at last. The whereabouts of former resistance soldier Vice Bozek, who had been held at the castle, are not known. All right, let's uh, head on into Mount Wavery. Wavery? Wavery? Uh, let's have a look here. Yeah, that's right. All kinds of crazy stuff in this battle. So there's hydras, there's dragons, um... Dark Dragon here, even. Um, I, I can't remember, but I could have swore some of these are, like, neutral. Like, they won't attack you unless you attack... I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that thing. I'm not really seeing any, like... Because usually they kind of like have a green glow to them. Yeah, I don't know now. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Anyway, uh, Lizard Hoplite and a liz Lizard Juggernaut. Let's see here, 12-2. That's probably what this guy may be. Oh, that's a Patriarch. Oh, hello. Level 24. Yeah, um, I, I, I'm a big fan of uh, you know, Patriarch Matriarch, although I don't like the Lizard as, as much. I like the Lamias most. But, uh, juggernaut, Hoplite. Yeah, so it's this Juggernaut and this Hoplite here. Uh, one of them, or well, whatever, the, the Hoplite has the three foot soldier marks 50% of the time. The Juggernaut has three Juggernaut marks, again, 50% of the time. Uh, the rest of the stuff, like a lot of these, it's the Stone Golem. Is that the Stone Golem? Yeah, so like this guy has a Granite's mark times three, again, 50% of the time, which is kind of crazy. Wow, the, uh, the dragons here are dropping their marks. They're dropping three of them 100% of the time. That is wild. Huh. As well as some of their random stuff, like beast fangs and beast claws, 15% uh, of the time. Skeleton knight at 3, 6. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This guy here. Uh, dropping, let's see, what is this? Halloween Stone times three, 35% of the time. I don't really care about that. Uh, the Hydra's got Beast Fangs and Beast Claws. Uh, Griffin at 17 to. Now here's the, here's probably the best item. Uh, he's got Winged Boots 15% of the time. I'm gonna try to grab those. Uh, and there's a Cockatrice somewhere? What? I don't see him. Cockatrice. 0, 14. Zero. Oh, is he up in this corner? Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. It'd be this guy, or right here. Well, I don't see that. Um, uh, maybe that's a random unit that's sometimes here. I'm not sure, but it doesn't really matter. That it's just going to drop basically uh, cockatrice items. Um, but yeah, not a bad, uh, not a bad spot to recruit some dragons, especially that dark dragon and uh, the hydra. Afford casualties before we've even reached Rhine. Be careful. Uh, so yeah, anyways, definitely actually recommend if this is your first pass through the game uh, to grab the dark, uh, the dark dragon, and the hydra. Uh, they're you know it's a really good idea to get a hold of those so that you can auction them off for orbs for um, you know recruiting uh, Deneb. Yeah, these are not these are not uh, allies of. Uh, or I should say, there, there is, there are not neutral units here, which I initially thought. But uh, yeah, they are, they are definitely all enemies. <laughs> also, let's see here. I wanted to check this guy. It's a Galgastani as well. I've just been trying to look at the different, um, you know, units, and you know, that's a, that's a Wallister unit. 
But yeah, looking for like uh, just in, in, in interesting clans, right? Like Zenobian. I, I've been looking for Zenobian units. I know there's. God, is that one maybe on the Chaos route? We'll see. I was reading there's you know potentially some weird like random Zenobian knights running around. Um, not that important, uh, unless. I mean, I don't know. Maybe if they're like uh, zombies or something like that, that'd be kind of cool. But um, for the most part, I don't think that that really matters because um, I found a way to uh, recruit Zenobian uh, knights anyway. But yeah, I guess I was just kind of looking for maybe more for like body swap type reasons. But uh, we'll see. Keeping our eyes peeled. So yeah, anyway, I think I'll uh, I think I'll make sure to knock out all these dragons and uh, get their marks. Uh, not that I think it's all that important, but 100% drop rates on these marks in three at a time. That's very weird. I think this actually might be a um, this might be a, a an anchor point. Uh, so it'd be a a way to potentially easily. You know, get a couple of these marks if you wanted. Again, I don't, I don't know how important that really is. I think that, especially like the the dark dragon marks. Well, these are the what is this called? Gloomworms marks. Um, I, I, I think that if you, if you want a dark dragon, it's better to just uh, recruit one, and not try to change another dragon into a dark dragon, right? Because the rest of the dragons, uh, aside from the arc dragon. Uh, the rest of the dragons have worse stat growths. So, like, if you want a dark dragon, you really should just recruit one and not, you know, I guess go about it in a different way. But So, honestly, at the end of the day, I think that these marks are probably pretty pointless. <laughs> uh, but the rest of them, uh, on the other hand, uh, actually would potentially be useful. So, again, if... I guess if you're trying to get, like, a flood dragon, right, it actually makes more sense to... Uh, get yourself a flood, uh, a mark, which I don't remember the name of the flood dragon mark, but uh, it would be better to recruit a dark dragon and then level it as a dark dragon, and then, I mean, ideally at level 50, you could swap it over to a flood, you know, that, that dark dragon into a flood dragon. Yeah, there you have it. All three gloom, gloom worm marks. Gloom worms marks. Jeez. A bit of a tongue twister for me for some reason. I think the first time, so first time I played through the game, um, I didn't know that you know people had essentially farmed out all of the or done like the data mining for the game, and um, I had no idea that you know for for one thing I had no idea that the the Griffin here dropped uh, wing boots, but uh, I didn't really know about anything else either. So it's always kind of fun now to to go back and think about the the first pass that I made through the game, which was, God, it was such a night, nightmare. I did a no, incapaci uh, no incapacitations, no chariot uh, challenge, and it was, it was dumb. It's like, you know, I should have just done like a regular playthrough and like learn how the game actually worked, although, boy, it, I, I learned pretty quickly how the game actually worked by doing no chariot, no incapacitations. Uh, because you're really forced to, you know, <laughs> really forced to learn quickly. But, um, but yeah, honestly, I wish I wouldn't have done that. I should have uh, really done just a regular playthrough first. Maybe no incapacitations, because that's not too bad. But no chariot is just a nightmare, and it's honestly pointless. I mean, it's fun, you know, if you want to do, do the challenge, then by all means, that makes sense. But, um, you don't get anything for it, you know, there's no... No title or anything cool like that. I think the the PSP version had uh, some like some titles for doing more chariots the whole way. But... No thanks. Too too annoying. Just realized I still have um still have which uh tame on. <laughs> on denim, I need to swap that off. Got 
caramba. Three granites, marks. Okay, perfect. So let's. Well, hopefully, I can take this guy out in one. Oops. Well, I guess maybe that'll still work. This won't be ideal, but I think I'll just do it anyway. Nope. That is a no. All right, yeah, let's cherry it. Let's cherry it to here. Uh, so, again, looking for the winged boots here. I think that uh, winged boots are actually really good, especially if it's your first pass through the game. Uh, and I definitely recommend um, charioting until you get those. If, again, if it's your first pass. Um, the first set of winged boots I got was, you know, the law route. Um, there they are. Look at that. Slick. Um, but, yeah, first first set I got was on the law route in... Was that Corazine? I think, I don't think it was Corazine. Anyways, uh, love them. Uh, very useful. I put them on denim basically right away. And that was really nice because I think I had him as a, a ninja, you know, so he could move really far and, um, uh, had, yeah, just kind of wherever he wanted. And it made it, you know, really easy to get to, you know, different places and, you know, get things silenced or stunned or whatever it was that I wanted to do with him, so... Yeah, uh, I really liked how that worked out. And of course now, I'm gonna have the rest of these guys get up. It does have uh, it does feel really weird to have Canopus' movement so restricted? Used to him flying around as a Barton. And Lich, uh, Lich just does not have the movement that the Barton does. It's also a little weird. I'm kind of surprised that there isn't some sort of accessory or, like, equipment that increases. Well, that's not true. I guess the all of the, uh, what is it, pants? All the pants? Like, the, the upgraded pants have Swift Foot, which I think does increase the movement by, is it one or is it two? I can't remember. But yeah, it's pretty... Uh, it, it would have been nice to, to have a little bit more than just that. So, you know, whatever. It is what it is. We can deal with it. You know what? Let's, uh, let's cherry that. We'll go uh, exercise this side over here. Oh, out of range. Oh, what? Yeah. Yep, out of range. Shoot. Okay. What about... No way he's going to get as far. All right. Well, so much for the exorcism. Uh, skeleton, I have even still. Yeah, I don't know who really cares about that, right? Jump stuff. Come a bit closer there, buddy. still. What cantaloupe? As didn't ever say, jeez, yeah, look at that. That's really bad. It's just... Yeah, I mean, he's got swift foot one. Yeah, lich movement is just really bad. Got maybe that one guy was in his way, too.
Oh, that was a bonus objective? Well, look at there. Yeah, wow, that was really important too. I didn't, I don't know, what was I just not paying attention? Light charms are really tough to get, uh, so I definitely, definitely recommend making sure that you do that. Steady on. The real battle lies ahead. Indeed it does. Yeah, wow. I'm glad I, uh, glad I did that. Glad I wasn't, uh, extremely lazy. All kinds of marks that I'll probably never use. Also, the judgment, too, is, I mean, that's kind of nice. Not that... Not that it's likely that you've got a light elemental, like, caster at this point, but I suppose you could make one, maybe. I don't know how, I don't know how that would work, right, if you, uh, let me just see here. I wonder if you can, uh, do I have a, a witch? I do. Yeah, so you, you'd have to change into something else first. So you'd have to do, like, uh, you have to change to, like, probably a cleric. And then change your element to light, and then you could change back to like uh, enchantress, right? And then you could equip the um, the judgment spell, wait, or well, I guess in this case it'd be judgment too, right? Can they use wait, or can they not use light? Oh, they can't use light spells anyway. Well, who can use judgment too? Let's see. Oh, warlock, uh, warlock witch could, yeah. So you'd have to change your probably have to change to um... actually. Let's see, yes, lead. I have a warlock or witch. Yeah, I do have Rudlum, I think, right? Rudlum should be a. Where's he? Where's he at anyway? Oh, there he is. Yes, he's a warlock. Let's see if you can use a light charm. Nope, can't use a light charm on a warlock either. So yeah, you'd have to change to like a cleric first, and then use the light charm. Then you could change over to warlock, and then you could have the the light or the judgment. Yeah, then you could equip Judgment to write as a light uh, elemented character. So, yeah, definitely some options there. But anyways, that's going to be it for this one. So as always, I hope the guide was helpful, and thank you for watching.